As content writers, we always run into this problem. How to best structure our content so that our readers will find it useful. We spend hours coming up with an outline, that's so tedious. So with the help of our blog post outline too, it can give you outline ideas in seconds to be used in your blog post. On top of that, I will show you how to find content gaps in your outline so that your article will be as comprehensive as possible. So hang tight, let's check it out. Hey, it's Jack from RankMath, the one WordPress SEO plugin that constantly strives to provide you with the fastest and the most cutting-edge SEO tools. And on this channel, we are all about helping you improve your search traffic. So if you're new to us, consider subscribing. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, assuming we are writing an article on a topic, how to make a vertical garden with automatic watering system. And now we need an outline. The simplest way to call on the blog post outline too is to hit double slashes on your content area and type a few characters to search for the two. And here we go. Alternatively, you can go to the content AI tab. On the third tab, you will see all the AI tools here. But anyway, I will run you through how to use this tool and I will use one of the generator outputs to find content gaps later. Let's start with the topic. This topic view is a required view, denoted by this red asterisk. The rest without it are optional fields, but they are good to have. Now, in the topic view, this is where you will summarize or give a short description of what your content is about. For example, in our case, I would write a short description such as, this article is about teaching people how to make a vertical garden with an automatic watering system so that plants don't die easily. Keep the description within 200 characters. Let's hit generate now and see what we can expect. And here we go. As we add more variables, it will influence the generated output. So let's see what variables you can add. The next few is the main points and ideas. If you have done your research and you know what subtopics you want to cover in your content, then you can add them here. Like for our case, we will cover how to build a vertical garden frame, hit comma to separate the ideas. Then the second step will be how to install the automatic watering system, comma, and finally, how to plant your vertical garden. Keep your input within 400 characters, which is about 50 to 100 words. You are free to leave this view empty if you want Content AI to generate all the outlines for you. Let's test this out, shall we? Let's generate one with the main points and ideas. And as you can see, section one is about building the vertical garden frame, which we have here, then installing the automatic watering system, which we have here as well, and then planting your vertical garden. And let's try one without anything. And as you can see, I think this has more steps and this should be more comprehensive. So if you want to add anything to this field, I would recommend that you be as comprehensive as possible over here. So in a sense, it's better not to add anything. But anyway, let's move forward to the next field. Next is the audience view. The audience is the group or groups of people who will read your content. And depending on the blog or website you're running, you can choose one or a couple of these preset audiences. But for our case, we are running a gardening related blog. So we will select gardeners and maybe environmentalists. And if you can't find a suitable audience from this list, customize it. Say small home owners and hit a comma so that a tag will be created for it. The focus keyword view is where you will add all the keywords you wish your article to rank for on search engines. These are the keywords you will typically add in the focus keyword view of the content analysis. If you have problems coming up with keywords you want to rank for, use the content AI analysis tool and it will provide you with some smart suggestions. You can put those relevant keywords here, but for each new keyword or key phrase you add, separate them with a comma and a tag will be created for it. With the tone view, you can choose the appropriate tone based on how you would like the outline to sound. You can choose whether you want a suggested blog post outline to sound formal, informal, or friendly. If you can't find a tone through this list, customize it. For example, enthusiastic and hit a comma. But this doesn't make sense. You want to be formal and you want to be informal. So I'll remove one of them. 
Now, for the style, it really depends on what your main topic is about. If it is something like ours, where you are teaching or guiding people to perform some tasks, you can select the tutorial style and you can have multiple styles as well, as long as they make sense. For our example, guide makes sense. Now, selecting the right styles will guide Content AI to generate the most relevant content outline for your topic. And you can customize your styles as well if you don't find one in the presets. For example, problems. If your topic is about mistakes you should avoid when doing something, you get an idea. Now, this view is self-explanatory. Whatever language you select here is the language of the output, but you can only choose one language per generation. And as you can see, there are so many different languages you can choose from. Currently, we have this list of languages and more will be added as we move forward. How many blog post outlines do you want Content AI to suggest? Currently, it is at one, but if you want more ideas and suggestions, feel free to increase this number, but the maximum is three at a time. Let's hit generate. Give it a while. And here we go. I think these are really good, but if you want more suggestions, feel free to hit generate more. Now, I'm not sure if these outlines are comprehensive enough assuming I have not done any research on this topic. So maybe I will just choose one. Let's say this. Let's copy this. Exit the tool. Under the Content AI tab, click on the fourth icon, which is our rank bot. What you want to do is to click on this prompt library. Let's go to SEO and let's search for identify topical gaps. Let's click on this and use prompt. Let's replace this post outline with what we have generated as you can see here, and let's hit return. And now it's going to show me all the things that I've missed from the provided outline. Then I'll write another prompt to combine all the topical gaps with the original blog post outline. And here we go. This is a pretty comprehensive outline. What do you think? All right, whenever you have exited an AI tool and you try to visit it again, you will see the output area reverted back to the default and all the generated outputs are lost. So to retrieve them, we have a history button here. Click on it and here you go. And if you want to see the past generated output for all the tools, then on your WordPress dashboard, go to Rank Maths Content AI module and you will see the history tab here. Here's all the past generated contents accumulated from all tools. Now, by default, the general audience, the formal tone, and the US English language are selected. If you want to change these default settings to something else, like in our example, we don't want to constantly change the audience from general audience to gardeners. So to change the default, go to Rank Maths General Settings under the Content AI Settings. You can change the default tone, audience, and language. But make sure that any changes you make, remember to save changes. So I hope you find this blog post outline too useful and you can incorporate it into your workflow. If you have any suggestions, feedback or experiences you'd like to share with us, feel free to leave a comment down below or contact our friendly support team. And while you're here, how about a thumbs up for this video? Anyway, if you haven't subscribed to us yet, do so to keep yourself updated on the latest SEO developments. I'll see you in the next video.